My name is Patricia Owens. I'm the mother of Amina Saeed and the mother of Amina Saeed. Because of the actions that Yasser Saeed took, I will not get to take Amina and Sarah to get their first prom dress or go to prom. I will not be able to see Amina and Sarah graduate from high school and college. Both girls wanted to be doctors. They were very smart, intelligent, bright, loving, caring, and did not have an enemy in the world except their father, the devil, that killed them. Both girls wanted to be doctors. They loved to help others. I will not get to see Amina and Sarah get married. I will not have grandkids. And I do and do what other grandmothers get to do, like taking them to the park to feed the ducks and play on the playground, as Amina and Sarah is and Islam did when they were younger on a daily basis. Amina and Sarah was caring, loving, bright. I remember when, I remember when we was on our way to Turner Falls, which we went at least two or three times a week. I'm sorry, a year. Amina said, Amina's words was to her dad, her bubba, Yasser Saeed, you're a devil. You murdered your girls. The day we were on the way to Turner Falls in Oklahoma, Amina told you, Bubba, I have, I have butterflies in my heart because I'm happy we're going to Turner Falls. Now, Amina and Sarah is at peace. They don't have to worry about you hurting them any longer. You have their blood on your hands. You deserve a lot more than what the judge has gave to you. You, desi you deserve to die now, not wait in prison. Not only did you abuse our daughters, you brainwashed our son. Our son is now serving 10 years in the penitentiary because of you. And that, that mean look that you are glaring at me with, I'm not scared of you anymore. You made me a strong person, but you took my life. You took my family all in one day. You could keep those evil eyes on me as long as you want, but you will never break me down again. Nor will you ever be able to hurt another person. And it, and I'm going to say this. I hope somebody gets their hands on you and hurt you and do everything you've ever done to anybody that's counting. The nine bullets you put in Sarah, nine. And she called 911. Amina, two bullets in the heart. Anybody that loves their children would have not put a blood on their hands for the murder of these two beautiful girls. Not only did you hurt them, not only did you hurt these two girls that you claim that you love, you don't know what love is. 
I don't even think you know what hate is. You don't know what anything is. But to have victims. And God so help me. I will keep Amina and Sarah's picture out there. These girls may not be here alive, but they're always in my heart, always on my mind. After you doing what you did, you have caused not only anger, hatred. I can never forgive somebody like you. I always was scared of you, and you know that. You never treated me like a real person, a wife. I was more of the person that you could take your anger out. Remember when you put the knife to my throat? I do. Remember when you pointed the gun at me? I do. Remember when you shot the tires out of the car? and toward the little, little travel trailer we lived in in Covington? I do. But you know what? I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about that. But there is one thing that I want to tell you. After you took my life away from me, and you know how much I love my children. My family was everything. My kids was my world, was my life. I would do anything for them, and you knew that. Even when I had to protect and put Mina in the van when you was chasing her down the road. Do you remember that? Well, I do. Well, I'm going to go on from the, uh, talking about some of the abuse. But due to you now, I have a, a major depression disorder. I'm uh, anemia. Uh, I have PTSD. Cannot sleep without having medicine so I don't see your face. Well, well, that's the best thing. And you know what? You can keep those evil eyes glaring, just glare away, because this is gonna be the last time that you see me. But it won't be But it won't be. Keep, uh, keep your client uh, quiet so the victim can, well, the victim's family can say their piece, okay? Thank you. But I will tell you, I pray on a daily basis that you suffer, that you suffer the pain that Amina went through that you suffer, that Sarah went through. And I hope, I just hope that every time you turn around, you, you have bad dreams. I hope your life is so miserable that you wished you would have just killed yourself. But no, you're too coward to hurt your sister, uh, yourself. But you wasn't too coward to, to put nine bullets in our baby daughter, Sarah, and two bullets in our oldest daughter, Amina. At this time, you are nothing. You are a prisoner. You are a murderer. And the devil. And I, I am finished.